Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick video review of the Internet Explorer 10 Alpha version which is found on the Windows 8 preview build, a bit of a mouthful there. Basically, this is the preview build of Windows 8 which you can actually run for free, um, legally of course, on a virtual machine. I've got a video that shows you how to do that, but for those of you who don't really want to download it because it's like 12, 13 gigs, I'll show you quickly um, what, <coughs> excuse me, what Internet Explorer 10 Alpha obviously looks like. Um, this obviously isn't a finalised version because it's not going to come out for a year or so, but this I think is roughly what it's going to look like. Um, user interface is completely different, so you know, I guess that's like you know a sign of the times. Um, basically, I'll show you what Internet Explorer 9 looks like. So it's got like a translucent top bit here, the bar and everything's at the top. It's got like six or seven buttons. It's, it's a bit cluttered compared to say Opera but it's still a nice looking uh, browser interface and if I then drag this across the screen here type in my password quickly I'll show you what Internet Explorer 10 looks like uh, it actually says, it does actually say on the Microsoft website this is you know what Internet Explorer 10 probably will look like um, so we can assume it is going to be like this is like the alpha alpha version of it so I'll click on it I really wouldn't recommend you have this browser or the virtual machine as your home PC, uh, you know, your home operating system because it uh, it does crash quite often. I've actually done this video once before. I got about four minutes in and the browser crashed. So hopefully it will be better this time. Um, it doesn't actually have a home page. You can set a home page if you want. First thing you notice if I just put this into like a full screen. How do you do that? I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, it's view full screen. Basically, you can see it's much more simplistic, much less cluttered. I mean, there's only five buttons plus this little preview page here, preview tab, and it's obviously at the bottom of the screen, not at the top. Um, I actually like it. I think it looks it's much more simplistic and probably easier for everyone to navigate. Um, it's got quite a few new features that I'll touch upon. I basically just want to uh, show you the user interface. So the first thing we'll note, um, if I go onto YouTube, I'll show you this in a minute, um, it doesn't have the brand new version of Flash Player, so sometimes you might get an error, but like it is there, but it does actually load and will actually play a YouTube video, which is kind of cool. Um, so the first thing that we'll look at, um, if you actually leave this, like you know, you don't move the page for a few seconds, this bar at the bottom here will disappear. You press right click to put it back up. So obviously it will be more uh, intrusive if you put it back up. And if you press right click again anywhere on the screen, you get this bit at the top where you can add or delete uh, windows. So you know you can have two or three or four plus windows, which are basically tabs, open at once. Um, thing to note, um, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a uh, small thing, but usually the bar that says that it's loading, usually it's blue or green when it you know, loads across the screen to say when it's finished. If you look here where my, ma my mouse is, I'll zoom in. You'll see it hasn't got a, a bar anymore. It's got like a blue, like some orbs or something instead. So that's a bit of a you know a difference. So you can see those blue things there. Um, I mean, it's a very fast browser. Um, I can't really compare it to Chrome or something right now because I'm actually running it inside the virtual machine. So you know it would take away resources like four gigs of memory that's how much I've got on this virtual machine so it wouldn't really be fair comparing the two browsers that way but once it gets out of you know alpha stages which probably unfortunately won't be for a while I will compare them obviously um, so that's the, one of the features uh, another thing is uh, instead of having favorites you have things called uh, basically you have uh, you pin things instead of having favorites so for example if I wanted to you can see there, for example, it's got rid of the bar because I've uh, not moved it for a few seconds. You right click to put everything up, you press this button here, and it pins it. And then you know you can change it to whatever you want, and then you press pin to start, and um, you know it's then pinned. And then you know, it's got the refresh button, and then if you open a new tab, you can see uh, you know it's got the pinned ones here, which are basically favourites. And frequent ones, which are basically you don't delete your history. These are the uh, videos, or sorry, not the videos, the websites that you use the most often. So you can just say, you know, oh look, YouTube, because you can remember it because it's like, you know, they're all different colours. It's dark red. Click on that, and it loads it. So it's quite fast. Um, I wouldn't really recommend, as I said, for like everyday use. But if you just want to have 
um, you know, you have a passing interest in how things might actually occur for uh, Internet Explorer 10 next year, then I definitely advise you to try and get this onto a virtual machine. So thanks again. Uh, my next video will probably be Opera versus Chrome, something like that. I'll see you next time.